All right, the Niners made a move today, Raj. Yeah. Actual transaction, and it's a good one. They signed Chris Conley to a one-year deal. Uh, he's a free agent wide receiver, 6'3", 205 pounds, third-round pick out of Georgia by the Chiefs. Um, and then he spent the next two seasons in Jacksonville and then played with the Texans for the last year and a half, wound up with the Titans for the final seven games of the season. Um you know, people look at that and go, well, you know, is that an exciting move or not? Well, I'll just say this. This guy's 30 now. He caught over 40 passes during his two seasons with the Jaguars. Um, I like him just because you're talking about a guy who's a great athlete, who's got size. He's a veteran. He He's a guy who I think, you know, is kind of a late bloomer, and he has big-time speed. I mean, Chris Conley had 4-3 speed coming out of Georgia. So he's got some incredible athleticism to him. And, you know, you got Debo, you got Ayuk, you, you, you re-signed Jawan Jennings today. You have Ray Ray McLeod. You have Danny Gray. You have Tay Martin, who I think is a tremendous young receiver. He That's six right there. Conley's number seven. In some ways, unless they're going to trade an Ayuk or Debo or Jennings at the top of their depth chart, they may not need any wide receivers in this draft um, what do you think, Raj? I mean, Conley's a, a a pretty he's a thirty year old player. Some people would just say, ah, camp body. He's just gonna, he'll be cut in camp. But I think he's a little bit more than a camp body. He's a little bit more talented, a little bit more athletic than people think. Yeah, no, it's a good under the radar type signing. I mean, again, people that say camp body, it could be because. They are starting the off-season program today. You need to make sure you have players through the whole system. But the 49ers, they like to do these type of moves. Last year around this time, they got Marcus Johnson, veteran. He stuck around the team a little bit. Um, again, special teams, you may need to call up a guy here and there. He could be one of those guys where, you know, like Dante Johnson, they kept him on the team, practice squad, call him up one week. You never know the injuries. And he does have some upside. 30 years old, he's the oldest player on the roster now. So he's a good. he could be a good veteran. We got a lot of young receivers, you know, like you said, Danny Gray, Newsom, um, you know, and all those other guys you mentioned. So it's a very young group, and you need some veterans on this team. Guy that's been around the league for a while, he does have some upside there. Uh, so I don't think it's like a, a – it wasn't like this splashy move, but it was a solid signing. They do this every year, you know, add some veterans, you know, and, and that could come in and help these young guys out. And, again, maybe down the line in a pinch you need a guy, then you can call him up or whatnot if he makes uh, the practice squad. I don't know if he'll make the final roster because – you, know, you mentioned some wide receivers on this team, and they don't typically have more than five or six. So it's going to be tough to crack this roster in terms of receivers, but it does set them up in terms of depth at wide receiver going into the draft. So they don't have to really go out there and really reach for a wide receiver. They can go and focus on edge and, and tackle and safety. Those are the positions they really need to go and grab or a tight end, right? So I like the move. It was a low-key, under-the-radar move, and he has good upside. Again, he had... Uh, I think his best season in 2019, he had like 700 yards receiving or something like that, five touchdowns. You know, good veteran guy. He could come in and, and help out the youngsters. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I like it. He's, he's a big veteran receiver with huge hands who played at Georgia. They ran the ball a ton, so he didn't really get a lot of reps at Georgia. But here were his combine numbers when he came out of Georgia. Now, granted, he's 30 now, but he ran four three five. With a one-five-two split, a vertical jump of wait for it, forty-five inch vertical. <laughs> I mean, that's now that's ridiculous. Eleven-seven broad jump, eight eighteen reps on the of two twenty-five, which is great strength for a receiver. This guy's a freak. I mean, he just he's just thirty and he's been around the block, but he he was uh, as freaky as they come. Athletic four-three speed on a six-three frame. Uh, with 45-inch vertical, I mean, that's that's a ridiculous athlete. This guy's always been a crazy athlete. He's slowed down a little bit, but I, I, I'm eager to see what he looks like this summer, and I wouldn't be shocked at all if he made the team. Oh, okay. okay. Wouldn't be shocked. Well, because Conley, I mean, I'm, 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 to me, he's the kind of receiver that would make you go, well, maybe they're, maybe they're not going to go receiver in this draft until late. You know, maybe they're, you know, because maybe the the – you know, a guy like that, I think, is probably, um, you know, I mean, a big receiver who can run 4-4 at this point, you know, and, and have that kind of leaping ability. Um, I, I just think that there's a chance he makes the roster. If nothing else, he's a, he's, he's a guy that if he was cut by the Niners, somebody will most likely give him a shot. 
He's yeah. he's going to play. He's an NFL receiver. He's he's definitely a lot different than the guys they have in the room right now. A lot of yak guys and stuff. This guy could go up and get it. You know, red zone type guy. So yeah, I think he'll threaten. But it, I think it'll be tough to crack this roster. Or maybe they bring him in because they don't like some of the younger guys they have. You know, out there. So it's it's going to be just more competition. I, I I do like the signing because you're right. He has a lot of upside for a veteran that's been in the league for a while. I think he has some good upside. So we'll see. It's going to be. At the end of the day, man, training camp, it's so much fun. All the competition is just brings the best out of everybody. No question about it.